All right, what's up? Bienvenidos. I'm just playing. I don't speak Spanish that good. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to Bantu knot my hair, which will turn this type 2B to 2C hair into a 3B, I believe. I'm not sure the texture, but it's definitely a froey texture versus what this looks like right now. Um, so yeah, what you're going to need to start out these Bantu knots, and this isn't my idea originally, so I don't want you guys in the comment section saying, you know, that this is not my idea originally and I'm stealing it no because I'm saying the original person who made this method his name was Mr. Da Romeo I'm not sure if he made it originally or he just saw like a tutorial and made it his own but it worked so what you need to get this to get the froey texture with bantu knots is of course you're gonna need some hair ties rubber bands braid ties whatever these are called so basically that, and they just spilled in the sink. Um, and then you're going to need your water bottle. Make sure this is cold water. I recommend doing this when you get out of the shower. But if it's too late, then it's too late. Like me, I'm just doing it with the spray bottle because I'm not going to use the Bantu knots for very long. They last about two days the most, three days. You look like uh, you on, you're on drugs and you need to take a shower and just wash them out. So... Um, yeah, so let's get started and stay tuned and watch. And I would, I'll show you how to moisturize it the best I can because it does look dry afterwards. So catch you later. All right, you guys are going from type 2A, 2C, or 2B, 2C here to type 3B, 3C type here. It looks pretty dope if I don't say so myself. So let's start out by spritzing and spraying and soaking with that cold water. From the cold water bottle and make sure you don't oversaturate your hair um, this is why I recommend taking a shower because it's just easier to you know level make sure you get you you because you'll get the right amount when you shower because it'll be drying up and it just lays your hair flat like the way it's supposed to but mine's curling up in the video grab some of the braiding ties or rubber bands whatever you want to call them and start taking little pieces of your hair and making sure it's wet enough to section off and twist into a bantu knot or twist whatever you want to call these the bantu knot may not be the correct term but I'm not very sure so just keep twisting and this is a lot a lot a lot of hand work and it hurts your wrist after a while so if you have to take a break I recommend taking a break because it's not comfortable and <clears throat> then you're gonna keep going and believe I'm on the second one or if not this might still be the first one because if you need to lay these flat on your head so if you have short hair this is pretty hard you saw me in the video struggling to put uh to tie it into a knot so I'm not even sure if I did this one right but I'll just explain to you that basically what you have to do is you grab a strand of hair and just keep twisting it and twisting and twisting it. I suck at sectioning, but I'm gonna keep doing this throughout the whole video. So I'm uh, probably gonna chop like quite a big chunk during editing, but I'm, I will keep you updated each time I feel like a whole section is done. So I'm, what I basically do is um, I go around. So I go around my entire head and I keep going, I go in a circle, that's how I section it off. Let's get back to the video. All right, so I'm still twisting and twisting. You wanna do this about three times on each regular size knot, and I wanna say four times on a small bantu knot just to keep it secure. All right, you guys, so I'm on my second to or my last bantu knot so I was going around in a circle and I'm most likely I might have to read I might have to redo some of these um, but it's just to give you an idea of how you start out I guess for me going in a circle is more easier than however you're actually supposed to do it maybe you can watch like a video on how to bantu knot <laughs> But, uh, no, don't actually, don't do that because then you won't watch this one. And being careful with your hair because this pulls your hair like, uh, yeah, you know. Keeping that clean content.
So I completed all of it. Are you satisfied? I'm just playing. No, I completed all of it. It took um, probably about 40 minutes or um, maybe an hour. I'm not, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I was too busy trying to give you guys quality content. I'm just playing. No, this, these are terribly done. But the results should be amazing because there's a lot more knots than I usually do. When you get small or when you get longer hair, you have to do more sections. So this is what it looks like. All right, you guys. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> this looks hilarious. Um, so right now, and then here's the first eye view for you guys. I'm not sure if you guys can see anything. If so, then that's cool. So I'm going to show you what to do next uh, after this step. So stay tuned. What's up? So now you're back from the tutorial that I showed you. I hope that your Bantu knots came out and you had enough energy to finish them because I honestly felt like giving up during during that process. And I hope these last for three days, not just two, because it is painful to do these. But anyways, the steps that you have to do, now that you did all the steps, you know, with the rubber bands, wetting your hair or getting out of the shower and then getting the rubber bands and twisting your hair. So you just basically, you twisted it, twisted it. If you didn't hear the, or were paying attention in the first part of the tutorial, twist and twist and twist and then get the band to knot or get the rubber bands and then make sure you tightly wrap that around band to knot as tight as you can. I said do three times uh, and then four times for little band to knots. Like it's just, it's just safe to do four times. Um, so after you do that, uh, you're gonna need a cap just to speed the process up because um, There's moisture in your hair and we need to take the moisture out That's why I said before that it's gonna make your hair look dry so you're gonna need a beanie or a Baseball cap. I don't recommend a baseball cap. I recommend getting a beanie Try and find the nicest quality beanie that you have that you're willing to put on you know over your bantu knots because microfiber is good for your uh, hair. So you don't want any cheap fibers on your hair like uh, being like abrasive against it. So let's get a band, or let's get, let's get a beanie and we'll be right back. Well, I don't know what you could do for six hours. Maybe you could possibly like, comment, subscribe, just chill and watch videos. Or maybe you could just eat a New Year's resolution killing snack. Or you could probably just regret that and probably just stick to your diet because you need to stick to that. Or you could possibly just watch some TV, even though someone else is probably watching the TV. Or you could read your Bible. <laughs> I read mine, but you could probably just read a book. All right, so we just uh, switched bathrooms. So it's been five hours. Like I said, this is a tutorial and taking these Bantu knots out is one of the most, can be one of the most painful things. Especially if you get cheaper bands. But so you're probably wondering why I kept this clip in there. It's just to show you how repetitive and how painful it is to remove your Bantu knots. Uh, you could probably just like fast forward it. <clears throat> I don't know why I left it in here. I just thought it was hilarious seeing my face because I look like I'm in so much pain. But yeah, so pretty much just take out all the Bantu knots one by one and have fun. The back and you know the back. Concentrate it can be. Okay, so I believe we have all of them. And so let's do this. I'm back with the white tooth brush and you don't actually want to use the super white so you just want the teeth I guess and you're just gonna pop these up like so oh. <laughs> so right here I kind of messed up before you start popping these up or even taking the knots out make sure your hair has been dried for at least six hours like i told you because i just took it out in five hours and it came out like garbage but keep going at it 
careful how hard you pick out your bantu knot because oh, you can damage the curl and it just looks frizzy instead of a curl. All picked out and ready to ready for action. So we're gonna put the coconut stuff into my hair. So let's I'll catch you. Right here. Take your uh, blue magic coconut oil. So take about this much. Make sure you get this rub really good in your hands. So you don't want to glob it onto to the hair. So I really, I really recommend that you do it out of the shower. It's just better results. So while you're picking it out, kind of be a little bit gentle and careful more than I am in this video. Uh, then you're gonna really take your curls out and make sure you get it evenly distributed. So I told you about how to style it, so get a bandana. You couldn't really rock it without this voluptuous looking froey hair. But since you got it, it looks pretty cool. And you could just wear a simple t-shirt and some jeans, whatever color you want. And you could just pretty much wear this anywhere as long as you're confident wearing this. If you're not into that very simple look, here's a smart casual look. You could wear, so you could even wear some of the fanciest things with this. You didn't think it could work out, but it could. And you could even go as far as accessorizing with the watch. And here's this one if you want to go even more uh, dressier. It's a uh, formal. I mean, you could pretty much rock that too. See, like the simple button up and some chinos and a belt. It pretty much looks put together. If you want to even up it even more, you could get a watch and a blazer. That's what is this is the exact look I wore on New Year's and you pretty much just rock it like that and it pretty much goes with anything that you want to do and if you want to do retro it, it, it works even better so you look at that the retro look just looks amazing it's a classic hairstyle and if you want to up it you could even add a windbreaker and I'm wearing Adidas superstars you can't see them in the video but it's pretty much it works out and it rocks pretty good and to even up it up even more, you could even add that bandana too. But just make sure your hair doesn't look as messed up as mine. But you're pretty much good to go and you're set. And you could pretty much rock with anything. Alright, so I'm back. And I hope that your hairstyle came out nicer than mine. And I hope that you can use this for yourself in the future. And, and tip number one. Do it when you come out of the shower. Don't do it with the spray bottle. I mean, unless you have to. I mean, my hair feels like it's kind of repairing itself. Like, it looked really bad because I was like picking it more with my fingers. But I see some of the curls starting to show up individually now. But yeah, so from now on, try and do it when you come out of the shower. Use the coconut oil, not real coconut oil. And, you know, I hope you enjoy your new hairstyle and now you learn that you can pretty much do, style it with any type of clothing. As long as, sorry, as long as it comes out right, then you're good to go. Thank you for watching and God bless you.